Hey, welcome back. I'm Tony Waugh with Main Access once again, and uh, we're going to run down the practical applications and installation on the Simple Salt unit itself. So once the customer has this and you're uh, getting it set up to the pool, they'll do is open the box and the fittings for installation are right in the box. So what they'll do is we provide this male-to-male -male threaded adapter that threads into one side of the unit. The other end of this goes into the outlet of the filter tank. So basically what you have is the water comes out of the skimmer, goes into the pump, the pump pushes it through the filter, and then you're going to have it run, running through the simple salt unit, infused with natural minerals, and then going back into the pool. So on the opposite side, what you're gonna have is a barbed hose fitting so that that hose can fit up to the other side and go back into the return jet. So once that is installed, what you'll do is plug this in to the bottom of the unit, and the other end just plugs into a standard 110 outlet. So cord's pretty basic. Um, what you have here in, included in that is a transformer. So the reason why we do that is so that if there's any kind of power surge or elect electrical malfunction, that transformer is going to prevent the unit from uh, completely ruining the circuit board. So again, great thing for the customer to protect their uh, you know, $300 investment here. So that, that is the function of that. So what's going to happen is once the uh, filter system is on and running and that water is pumping through the filter, it's going to create a vibration which is picked up in this unit. So we don't use a flow switch at all. Flow switches have moving parts and they break. So that's, that is why we did a vibration sensor. So once the unit picks up that vibration of the pump and filter system working, the green active light comes on and lets the customer know that. So it's a great little function. Again, the green active light lets the customer know that it's operating properly. The other button that you'll see on here is a red chamber light that would let them know when the chamber needs to be replaced. So we're the only one on the market that does it that way and it's just a great peace of mind for the customer that allows them to know that this is functioning properly. Uh, as we touched on in the last video, what we also have is a level control. So the up and down arrows allow them to get a good comfortable gauge on where their copper level is at. So again, the controlled testable amount of copper, that range that you want to be in is between 0.3 and 0.5. It's just a very minimal amount and what that does is it works as an algostat in conjunction with all of these other products that prevent them from getting algae. So the unit really is very low maintenance. You're adding the least amount of chemicals really to your pool of any other system. And it's just, get, again, giving the customer a great peace of mind that their pool is gonna stay clean all year with the least amount of work that you can possibly imagine. So again, at the end of the year, what's going to happen is the bars on the inside of this unit that are providing those natural minerals are gonna wear down and eventually they will need a replacement chamber. They'll know that again because that red chamber light comes on to let them know that it's time to replace the chamber. They'll come back into the store and they're going to get this right here, which is just the bottom of the unit. They'll take the four screws off. They'll replace these uh, cords off the bottom, get the replacement chamber. The new chamber goes back on. The cords can be plugged in in either direction because again, it's very simple. It's just uh, giving a pulse back and forth to those two bars on the inside that are releasing the natural minerals into solution. That's it for the unit itself, and uh, in the next video what you're going to have is Dave O'Brien giving you the rundown on the chemicals. Thank you.